What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and with all this talk about net neutrality and people not understanding what it is or why it's important, I wanted to do a quick video explaining everything, so stay tuned. So there seems to be a lot of confusion surrounding net neutrality. People don't know what it is and sometimes even have a hard time understanding it after someone explains it to them. So what I wanna do is start from the beginning. So back in 2007, Senator Obama pledged his support for net neutrality, which would protect the internet and keep it free and open. In 2010, the FCC introduced regulations to keep the internet service providers or ISPs from blocking access to certain places. And there were several regulations and lawsuits between the FCC and an internet service provider providers over the following years, leading up to 2014 when a petition for net neutrality was signed by over 100,000 people on the White House's website. A few months later, the FCC proposed a new ruling on net neutrality and allowed the public to give their opinions on the matter. A few months after that, there were comments from nearly 4 million people with the vast majority of them in favor of net neutrality. And in February of 2015, the FCC voted in favor of strong net neutrality rules to keep the internet open and free. So the best way to describe net neutrality is to imagine that the internet is a huge highway that covers the entire world. Imagine that your internet service provider like Comcast, Verizon, or AT&T is the highway administration. Right now, you pay the highway administration to use your car to go wherever you want. And you can pay them more for a higher speed limit if you want, which will allow you to get places faster and transport more people but you can always go wherever you want with no additional tolls or fees. Well, this is life with net neutrality, and with net neutrality regulations, your ISP can never block you or charge you more to go wherever you wanna go. Now, without net neutrality, your ISP has complete control over the highway and they can charge you to get to certain places. So you might have to pay a toll to get to YouTube or a toll to get to Facebook and Instagram. And if you don't pay the toll, they can either block you from going there altogether or they can give you access to an old dirt road to get there so you have really slow speeds and a terrible experience. Another example of this is what we already have right now with cable TV. Right now, basic cable service comes with several channels. Now, you might be okay with the basic channels, but if the channel you wanna watch is not part of the basic package, you have to pay extra for a package that has that channel, otherwise you can't watch it. So without net neutrality, your ISP can create the same structure for the internet. Imagine the basic package just gives you access to Google and email, and in order to get to Facebook or Instagram, you have to pay extra for the social media package, or if you wanna watch YouTube or Netflix, you have to pay for the video streaming package and so on. And considering that blocking or slowing traffic to certain sites might actually be in the best interest of the ISP since they can make more money from big companies like Netflix and Google, losing net neutrality could be horrific. This would also be bad for new companies. Imagine if there was a new video stream streaming service like Netflix out there somewhere. They might have better prices and better content, but if you can't get to them, it means nothing. And this doesn't just apply to your home internet, it's gonna affect your cell phone as well. So right now the playing field is level. Anybody can be accessed over the internet without having to worry about whether you're blocked from getting to them. So you can create a new website tomorrow and people can start accessing your site right away with no issues. This is what we mean by a free and open internet and net neutrality is what allows this. So now that you understand what net neutrality is, what can we do now? Well, the FCC has already voted to get rid of net neutrality, but just like we did in 2014, we can use our voices to make a change. Talk to your Congress people and urge them to overturn the FCC's decision. And right now you can go to battleforthenet.com, sign up on that website and make your voice heard there as well as contacting your Congress people. The internet as we know it is at stake and it's up to you to save it.